Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues, written by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete and the gang had a great day. They'd been at the beach. Surf and sun and tons of fun. But when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Groovy. Pete's place. Let's go. The party was far out, but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. On went the pajamas and out went the light. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete was just about to catch some Z's when clap, clap, clap. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Grumpy Toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. Pete tried again to catch some Z's when... Rat-a-tat-tat. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Gus the Platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jam instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Time to sleep. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes to catch some Z's when he heard... Munch, munch, munch. Pete had a hunch. It was Alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? All the clapping, rat-a-tat-tatting, and munching was giving him the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. He got out his favorite bedtime story and started to read. First to himself, and then to the gang. Pete noticed it was finally quiet. No more clapping, no more rat-a-tat-tatting, and no more munching. They all settled down. No one made a sound. Pete yawned and turned off the light. Good night. Sleep tight. Time to catch some Z's. Tomorrow was another day for surfing, sun, and tons of fun.